over the last few years, we've been developing a provincial network to address some of the challenges that I outlined uh, that are so intractable about climate change. Uh, so the BC Agricultural Climate Change Adaptation Research Network uh, was formed a, a few years ago. We uh, brought together uh, research organizations, government associations, uh, and NGOs, and the agricultural industry and associations. And the idea was basically we could help address some of these really big challenges of climate change as, uh, as a team working collaboratively. So uh, this collaborative network uh, was, was formed out of early conversations with, uh, with these various organizations. We uh, created a steering committee and then we went after uh, some funding and got two years of funding to, to initiate this, this idea. So uh, right now we have got a number of universities from around the province. We've got the, uh, the federal agricultural and agri-food uh, Canada research scientists involved, as well as uh, folks from the Ministry of Agriculture. Then we have representation from ARDCORP and BCAC. And the Climate Action Initiative is a key partner in this, in this collaborative research group. So the vision of, of uh, ACARN is to establish a provincial hub that can really foster collaboration. We want to be able to approach climate change adaptation research in a way that uh, fosters education and extension strategies across BC. Our objectives are to establish this provincial network. We want to be able to share uh, research information and expertise. We want to be able to coordinate uh, research network projects across the province. And we want to be able to enhance the accessibility of applied research outcomes. Ultimately, we want to be able to, to train uh, future research and outreach specialists so that this, this expertise continues. So we've uh, spent the last couple of years developing uh, the structure of, of the, uh, the organization and building our identity, developing uh, a rather sizable uh, membership. ACAR now has over 100 members from over 30 different organizations uh, from around the province. This map is illustrating uh, the diversity in terms of the, the color, the different disciplines or organizations that are distributed across the province. Our members are academic, they come from government, they come from industry, NGOs, consultants, or their students. So we've been engaged in trying to share research information and expertise across the province. It's clear that we have great expertise in a number of different disciplines but this expertise is sort of scattered across the province. So to be able to really apply an interdisciplinary approach, we want to be able to connect these experts in these various locations. So we built an expert da database so that anyone can go online now and identify who these experts are. We've developed a, a newsletter. We're really trying to be active on social media and we're now uh, hosting an annual provincial workshop where we're bringing folks from around the province together to talk about uh, this interdisciplinary approach to this complex challenge. So uh, we've been trying to, to coordinate research projects that are, are more than the sum of their parts. So across the province, we have scientists who are working on particular uh, research questions. And the idea with this network is if we bring those, those scientists together that we can create some synergies in their research program and really create a transdisciplinary approach, an approach that engages farmers from the beginning, brings different disciplines together, and then works with uh, the various organizations to help uh, translate that, that research into, into action, into something that actually uh, is going to help farmers adapt. 
So an example of this is we created a, a, a pilot data sharing infrastructure. So we've, we've worked to be able to take, for example, soils or crop data from around the province to make that accessible to all the members in, uh, in ACARN. We've also initiated a, a soil data sharing work group to really work through some of the logistics of this idea of sharing and identify ways that we can capitalize on, on this uh, shared information space. And finally, we've been working to train research and outreach specialists. So we've encouraged student participation in all of our ACARN activities. So this education series is actually one of our strategies to engage students from around the province to really help start getting them excited about being a part of this type of interdisciplinary work. We've enhanced cross-sector collaboration. We've really started building uh, linkages across the province with the various members. And we've initiated several uh, research, education, and extension projects. So where do we go from here? I think this is a really important question. What, what, what do we do now? So to keep ACARN going, we're continuing to, to bring in funding. We're continuing to build collaborations through these uh, various uh, activities. So what, what, what can you do? How, how do you get involved? I think this is important to ask yourself. So watching this video, participating in a workshop, these are important steps. I think you should be appl applauded for that. Um, but then going beyond just education and really trying to engage, figuring out where you plug in. What is it that, that you like to do? What is it that you uh, think you can make a contribution on? You can become an ACAR member. It's completely open to the public. And you can join network projects. There's a number of projects that are going on uh, around the province. There are a number of uh, activities that CAI is, uh, is leading as we speak. I think um, your participation can clearly enhance some of those, uh, those network projects. And then there's the possibility that you can initiate your own new project. So uh, as, as a member of ACARN, you are what the network is. So you, you make the network. You can decide what, what the network does next. And personally, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, you can be supporting local agriculture. And I think that's, that's the type of choice that we make every day when we go to, to the grocery store or we uh, order our food at a restaurant. Mm -hmm.